adhere each of our elements to our layout. Um, I like to start with my photos and you just simply just take your photos and add a little adhesive to the back. The reason I like to start with my photos is that this allows me to kind of place my photos and then settle the rest of my borders and accessories around it. So you would do this for each element on your page, just kind of placing it down. And then you're going to do the same thing with your borders. You just add a little adhesive in each of the corners. And I just start with the bottom border um, and then just place that on your page. Take the top border and then adhere that on top of there like that. Same thing with your accessories. Um, you can start from top to bottom if you want. So I would just do the top layer. Go to the next one. Then if you would like, you can add some simple embellishments. They don't have to be expensive uh, buttons, brads, things like that. Um, and then you could just place them where you want. And then we're done. We just designed and created a complete layout. And like any creation, it's not finished until you share it with someone. And that's what's so great about scrapbooking is that this is something you can share with generations. Um, just take your layout and put it in an album, um, kind of like this album that you see here. And I just want to quickly share with you some layouts that Debbie Shiloh and I designed, just so you can see a couple more options and variety um, as far as the style goes. Um, this layout right here just uses the one border kind of like what we talked about. Um, if you like the layers, this shows the layers with your borders. This one has a back-to-back -back effect here. Um, and then this layout actually uses three borders, so it uses all three of them, which could be a lot of fun as well. So it's another option as far as how to use your borders, um, as far as laying out and your design of your layout. And the great thing is the moment you change the paper, the look of it changes as well. So you really can create a variety of different layouts, um, even using the same templates. I hope some of these ideas have inspired you and you can see more ideas in our gallery as well. And as you can see, the play to create system is very simple. It's five steps, design, trace, cut, ink, replace. And the greatest thing about it is that it's so much fun. I know for us, it has brought so much joy back to our scrapbooking experience, and we believe that it can do the same thing for you. Thank you so much for watching.